Lao People's Revolutionary Party will hold the 10th Congress of the LPRP in January. The mass party members' gathering is held every five years to highlight the preceding five years' achievements and to set goals for the next five years. In welcoming the upcoming event, we would like to present history of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party, Part 2. <laughs> Warmly welcome and congratulations to the 10th Congress of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party. The revolutionary struggle of the Lao multi-ethnic groups progress to a new stage and the Indochina revolutionaries were thereafter considered global revolutionaries. After the Indochina Communist Party was founded, the first Communist Party unit in Laos was established at Bonang Pontiu in Vientian. By implementing the orders of the Communist Party Committee outside the country on September 6 to 7 in 1934, 15 party members, who represented the members of six party cells, gathered to open the Congress of Don Sing Su Island in Vientiane. The Congress explained the ideals of the party and agreed on resolutions concerning urgent issues such as improving and expanding party organizations and mass organizations, strengthening the task of mobilizing the masses in rural areas, and encouraging a form of fighting with mass characteristics nationwide. The Congress selected an executive committee of the Indochina Communist Party in the Lao region called Kana Pakken Lao. Across the Lao region, there were six party cells with a membership of 32 Indochina Communist Party comrades. From then onwards, the Lao communists disseminated the theories of Marxism and Leninism. They built up the party at the grassroots level in factories and schools in urban and rural areas, so as to amass a patriotic force to rise up to fight at all levels through various forms of combat. <laughs> The party mobilized people in rural areas to join the revolutionary movement and become the underlying force of the revolution. A wave of struggles by Lao people took place across the country, and there were several forms of fighting. This led to the party seizing power on August 23, 1945, and proclaiming Laos independence on October 12, 1945. The Lao People's Army was established on January 20, 1949, and the now Lao Isara Free Lao Front was founded on August 13, 1950. The now Lao Isara was the flag that united and attracted all segments of society to take part in the revolution. Under the leadership of the Indochina Communist Party, the People's Revolutionary Movements in the three nations achieved a huge victory in their fight against the French. The revolutionary forces grew continuously and the number of party members increased. The Second Congress of the Indochina Communist Party held in 1951 agreed that Laos, Vietnam and Cambodia would establish their own parties to lead the revolution in its country. The Lao people, who were members of the Indochina Communist Party, took four years to prepare for their first Congress. The Lao Communists held their first party Congress at Nam Mail Village in Vieng Sai District, Hua Pan Province from March 22 to April 6, 1955, and announced the formation of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party on March 22, 1955. The Congress elected President Gai Son Pomvihan as Party Secretary General. President Gai Son Pomvihan affirmed that the Indochina Communist Party was the originator of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party. 
Our party was born by combining Marxism-Leninism with true patriotism and a sense of internationalism on the part of a shining workforce. The party had its roots in two factors developed with the existence of the Indochina Communist Party, which introduced the theories of Marx and Lenin to educate revolutionary officials in Laos, beginning in 1930, bolstered by true patriotism. <laughs> The Indochina Communist Party was founded and led by President Ho Chi Minh, who provided invaluable assistance to revolutionary officials in Laos. After the Lao People's Revolutionary Party was established, the party passed down the inspiring ideology of the Indochina Communist Party. The party clearly laid down its actions, ideology and political direction in leading the Lao masses in the struggle to liberate the nation and gained full sovereignty on December 2, 1975. <laughs> Today, the party continues to build on its ideology in line with the country's development needs and leads the entire Lao population in protecting and developing the nation with a goal of ensuring the people's well-being and prosperity, a strong nation and a society that enjoys solidarity, conciliation, democracy, justice and civilization. <laughs>